I know everyone here must have a favorite book, or at least a, a book they read and they it really changed them. So today I'm going to introduce you to one of my overall favorites, and it's this book, at least from Scott Westerfeld, and it's something I read a few years, I think two years ago, and it's already, it's been out for a, a long time, from 2005, but I don't know if it's really famous. So today I'm going to talk about this story, the series, and what's the meaning of this book. I'm going to start with the story. And there are three kinds of people in the book. There are the Rusty, the Pretties, and the Smokies. And they are divided in cities. When they are, the Rusties are the people that existed before. This book is from the future perspective. And the Rusties are the past. The Rusties are us right now. And the Pretties and the Smokies are the future. The Pretties are the people that after a surgery, they get, everyone get pretty on the standards of the new society. And they live together in the city, they party, they don't work, they just live the pretty life. And the Smokies are the people that ran away, that didn't want to be part of the society. They are ugly because they never went through the procedure of changing their faces to something that was considered the beauty of the, that time. So everyone went through a surgery that changed their bodies to something to a certain pattern because everyone was the same and they had different features but everyone was really really pretty everyone was just the same they used to change their faces just for fun if they didn't like it they changed it again they changed it again they they just did it because they could and they don't have to worry about this about being different. But this surgery does something to a person that they didn't know. Everyone goes through the surgery but they didn't know it gonna happen to them. And it changes their minds to something pattern to a certain pattern too. Like you start to think the same as everyone. And the book tells the story of Tally, Tally Youngblood. When she's 16, she's going to go through the surgery, but she runs away to smoke, the, where is the smoky sleep. But not for choice. She has to do it because one of her friends go, and the government sees the friend going, and they needed them to find it. They needed Tally to find Shade, that's the friend that ran away. So Tally goes after her, and when she gets there, she wants to force everyone to be free too. But when she gets there, she changes her mind because everyone tells her the truth. And she doesn't say where they are to the government. She runs away and then she starts to live there. But they found her and she has to go back to the city and she goes through the surgery and she's changed forever. On the first book, that's what happened. But there is a series. And on the first one, that's ugly. She is the ugly one and she still thinks the, the way she should think. Then she goes to pretties, that is when she changes 
and becomes a pretty person, but she thinks differently and she always know she has a feeling that something's wrong with her, but she doesn't know why until the people from Smoke find her again and gave her the cure to think so she can think by herself again. But she, since it's a surgery, she can't do it all the time. She, it go, comes and goes, the individual talk. So it's really hard for her. And there are the specials. That's the next one of the series. The specials are the ones who control everything. The ones who know, but they had the surgery. So they can't be controlled by the government. So the government gave them special treatment. Like they are the ones that goes to the government later. So they are actually being controlled too, but they don't know. So they all, everyone from Smoke goes through the surgery and becomes special too. But they change it, everything. They start to change the government. And extras, they try to finish with this philosophy of everyone being the same and everyone thinking the same because that's not the right kind of utopia they think sh they should have. Mm -hmm. So that's the meaning of the book. It's mm -hmm. a rebellion against standards of beauty. And they talk about the way the society changed people's mind. People's mind, yeah. And it's a perfect utopia or a complete loss of individual thought. They know it's not okay to ev everyone go through this. So today I talked about my favorite book, the story, the series, and what's the meaning of it. And I'm going to finish it by saying that perfection is not something you should be achieved because it's not possible. Perfection is not real. And everyone should know that because being yourself is better than being perfect. Thank you.